Well, welcome to Math 127, the coronavirus edition. Um, this is me at my house, still working on getting everything all set up to, to do this. Um, this is new territory for a lot of people, so I just want to acknowledge that and let you know that if you have questions, concerns, or if things aren't working right, just let me know. Um, I have, we have a lot of uh, things to learn together, and I can keep adjusting this as we go to make this the most useful thing for you guys. Um, and I do appreciate that feedback. Um, the new format, as you can probably tell, is going to be doing these short videos on YouTube. Uh, they, there's really nothing there's really nothing more to it than that. Um, I wanted to keep the video short so that way you can more easily jump around and find what you're looking for. Um, I'll try to title things appropriately to make it easier for you to find. Um, the only thing that you'll notice is that the amount of time I, we spend on this is a little bit shorter because we're not going to be giving you that blank air so that we've been using for you to just work on problems in class. Uh, so I'll just jump straight from example to example to example. I really recommend that you do take the time to work through these things, to try to work through these things on your own first. Uh, that's a much better learning strategy than just copying along with me because uh, as you might have discovered in this class, if you just sort of copy along, it's possible to do that without having the slightest idea of what's happening. And so, um, so that's what we're going to do um, for the videos. Uh, quizzes will be posted online and you'll have a day to do them. Um, I might shorten that a little bit as we go, but right now I want to make sure we have plenty of time to do that. Uh, they'll be submitted online just like your um, write-ups, at least those of you doing write-ups by hand. You can just take a picture and upload it and that, that'll count as your quiz. Um, quizzes, lectures, homework, the on-paper homework, same thing. You can just take a picture and submit it. I'll, have, I'll make sure I have those, those assignments updated. And of course, during this week, this adjustment week, uh, I'm not really going to worry about the late assignments. Just get it done. Um, I really want to give you the opportunity and everyone the opportunity to adjust. So anyway, today, uh, today's topics, we're going to talk about three different things. Damped harmonic oscillation. We're going to talk about uh, the, the general idea of varying the amplitude of our sine and cosine functions and look at some, some of the uh, outcomes of that. And then we're also going to talk about functions where the midline is varying. Um, so instead of having a constant midline, the midline is now sort of varying as well. And so that gives us another type of shape. So these are the topics that we'll be covering today. Um, if you have any questions about anything, as always, you can ask me a question, send me a message over Canvas.